Hi guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the J-pop songs I've been listening to in the past two, like two weeks. This video is kind of inspired by, and you can probably say I stole the idea actually. This YouTuber that goes by the name of Sean Chi, he reviews and like discusses rap and R&B music. He's been, he's like, he started this idea basically where he just kind of discusses what songs he's been listening to for the past few weeks. So, you can probably say I'm stealing this from him. I don't know if this has ever been done in the J-pop or the anime community, so here I am. Let me show you guys my Spotify playlist real quick. The thing is, before 2 Minami released new music, I was actually going to do kind of like a J-pop drought where I just didn't listen to any J-pop at all. So I actually have a Chinese and a Japanese playlist. Those are my two main sources of music, and I kind of just like, there's days where I listen to both, there's like times where I just listen to one single one, and there's times where I don't even touch one of the playlists for a pretty long time and that was what was happening with the J-pop playlist. That's why I thought this video would be interesting because I kind of just got back into J-pop around two weeks ago. So yeah, here's like some of the newest songs on my playlist. And I would say my most, my two most listened songs on Spotify, at least with the J-pop playlist, are songs from the 2 hour album Minami EP. That should be kind of expected. W when I first heard this song, I was fucking freaking out. Like, oh my, this song is just so good. And let me skip to the part, let me skip to the part that. It's over here. So I don't know. I just, I just can't like I can't help but smile every single time I hear this part. I talked about this on my in the video where I reacted to the uh, two years new album. Like Train is actually a song that I don't really listen to too much now. And hearing it like being implemented in a different song and making it sound different was fucking amazing. It's n it's not like they just copy and pasted the fucking instrumental and put in the song. They actually changed it up too. Like the electric guitar sounds different and this it also sounds different at the end of the song as well. Like, to you is just so good at this. I forgot who the vocalist is for to you. Is it is it Lei? Lei Le is either the vocalist for to you or uh, Zutomayo. But I do know that Pusukone is like the composer and everything else for uh, the group to you. Uh, Pusukone does such a great fucking job of every single instrumental. What's the fault there? They, they even they added the pier like. The, the instrumental was already so fucking good and they ended up adding like some piano into it, you know? Great fucking song, great fucking song. When a music video comes out for this fucking song, I'm definitely gonna listen to it, watch the music video and break that shit down. Before we listen to any Minami songs, let me show you one of the new, uh, like newest songs I have on my playlist. Kinda embarrassed to admit this, but kinda got this off from Osu. I don't really play too much Osu anymore, but I still watch a good amount of videos on it and if we're being completely honest, Osu has introduced me to a lot of great fucking songs. Like the first actual J-pop song, like, you know, there's anime openings as well, but like the first song that I would actually consider J-pop, I found it through Osu. We're gonna listen to that later, but let me just show you like why I like the song. Yeah, like the instrumental's kind of play from the background, and like the singing, I'm familiar with it, sounds pretty good. Like, l listen to how soft her voice is, just listen to that shit. Oh shit, I even, I forgot the song, I forgot this pose even in the song. <laughs> See? Good song. You really can't say anything about it, it's a pretty good song. This song, oh. This song blew, like this song blew up on Chinese, on the Chinese TikTok recently. Let me, let me show you guys uh, the video that I found it through. See? Good song. I feel bad for Hasuni Miku though. This is a different version, I think. They, they only have covers of it on Spotify right now. That that happens with some songs, it's pretty sad. Like, that that was the case with Hikaru Nala for a bit. But they actually just added that song, I think, a few months ago. Hikaru Nala is such a good fucking song. I had every other, like, opening ending from uh, Yolanda and April in my playlist already. But this was the only one missing, and now they have it. So, of course, I would add this shit in my playlist. And Sweetheart, Riona. Uh, this is the ending for... Happy Sugar Life, which I just did a video on recently. And I forgot the song actually existed, if I'm being honest. Then I listened to it, like, I listened to the first 15 seconds, I was like, let me add that shit to my playlist. Just listen to her voice, listen to her voice. I, uh, I'm actually a bigger fan of the other ending from Happy Sugar Life, but this is also really nice. It's actually scroll up into my Let me see if there's any older songs I've been listening to a lot. This is the first uh, J-pop song that I discovered. It's actually my most listened to song on Spotify, like, all time, which is kind of, which is kind of surprising. But it's a great fucking song. And Zuto Mayo is definitely an artist I'm gonna make future videos on. Yeah. Like, I have a lot of songs on my playlist, but has she released anything recently? Wait! Zuto Mayo has done- Is that- Let me just make sure I'm saying that correctly. Is that Zuto Mayo? 
Did she do a first take video? <sighs> we have something else to react to, boys. Oh, a song I was trying to learn before I kind of like, you know, stopped listening to J-pop for a while was Loser. This song is fucking way, way too fast. What the lyrics are? Let me try it real quick. But all of the J-pop songs are so fucking fast paced. Like, that's why because I don't know Japanese, but it's, it's, it's fucking hard. It's my darling, it's all, it's all, it's gonna be more iconic. Taaki kana superstar ga ona kagetsu yozu de mata. I'm a lizard, a sadata, a sadata, a hideo. Too high for me. Let me actually try it quick. I'm a loser, the set that the top of the either yo, Mohi Kai, Mohi Kai, you can say, Boko Loco. I'm a loser, Zutamaya Kada. Zutamaya Kada. Where's our high polygon? Zutamaika. Zuto. My ka. What's the la? It's Kala. Where the fuck is the la? I'm a loser, Zutamaika, Kiko Tata. I can't do it. I can't forget about this song. To me, Beastars has the two best anime openings I've heard so far. Let me change that. Like, the song and the visuals combined. The two best ones. It's up, to, uh, I would say the first Yudo Camp one is up there as well. But I haven't seen anything surpass like the first two uh, Beastars, Beastars one yet. I see it's Beastars getting the season three. If anyone knows that, please tell me. The crazy thing about this song is that it gets better the more you listen to it. Oh. Yeah, 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 let me show you guys this. See, ever since I did the Yellow Shaker video, this became like my most listened song on <laughs> Spotify. At least for like the past like two weeks, you know, when, when I first added the song playlist, it surpassed like some of my most listened to songs, like Trapped in the Past, May Knock the Lilac. It surpassed all three of those and we should the number one. The song is very fucking good though. It's just so like soft and soothing. It sounds so good. It sounds so fucking good. Also, I kind of added a classic song onto my playlist. Let me show you guys this. Yeah, you know what it is already. I saw like a video of it on YouTube. I didn't even watch it. I just saw it like in my recommended and I was like, okay, I need this on playlist. Like I forgot it existed, if I'm being honest, but it's such a great fucking song. It's it's a, it's a really old song. When did it come out? I actually don't remember. 2007. That's not like too old, but great fucking song and kind of ahead of its time, if I'm being honest. Why am I saying ahead of its time? Like this song came out 50 years ago. It's Bad Apple. Everyone knows this song. It's a fucking classic. Everyone knows this song. Now let's go on to the Minami section. There's more specifically one song though. This should make sense why this is my favorite song from the album. Well, outside of uh, Amen Wamatsu. Like, this is also one of those fucking songs. It gets, like, it gets even better the more you listen to it. It doesn't fucking make sense. Great fucking song. Great fucking song. The thing about Minami is due to the, to the fact that she doesn't have too many songs as well as I, they rarely come up. Like in my playlist because I play things that are randomized, so they rarely come up. But every once in a while, there's like a few songs I'm kind of addicted to, and I kind of just like I search for them instead. Like I just go to my entire playlist, find a song, then play it instead. And those two songs right now are Drop and If There Was an Endpoint, which makes sense because they are two new release songs from two of my favorite artists. But this is so fucking good. I actually don't know who this person is. I actually found out about this song because of a piano channel that I follow on my other personal like YouTube account where I used to like watch videos and shit. Yeah, this cover was really good and I ended up finding the song and added it to my playlist. But I have no clue who this oldest is though, so you know, if there's anyone that wants to help that wants to like tell me uh, like some good songs that this oldest has, feel free to do it. Also, these two Yo's will be songs. Oh my god. I just realized something. I I haven't even I haven't listened to like a new Kano song recently. What is wrong with me? I talked about it before. This is an opening for Yudo Camp. Real fact about Yudo Camp is that it instantly became one of my favorite animes. Like just from the first few episodes of it. And the openings of it are fucking amazing as well. Oh Lilac's actually been popping up like randomly a lot. Lilac is I would say my second most favorite song by Minami. First is Minato. I don't think these top two songs will ever get replaced. I don't know if I want it to be replaced, but I do want like Minami to release a few songs where I can look at and be like, shit, is this better than Lila and Minako? Oh, I just, oh, I, wait, 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 wait. Why haven't I done any videos of me trying to break down Minami's music videos before? I just realized that. Am I fucking retarded? Ah, okay, that's gonna be a future video sometime soon. Did she, wait, did she perform this song in her red line event? I need to see Minami perform this song live once in my lifetime. I don't, it's gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna happen. But yeah, I think that should be it for this video, you know, I've been recording for like 
20, yeah, 26 minutes out. That, that should be good enough. And that's about the first time I'm trying out a video like this. Probably shouldn't stretch it out for too long. But yeah, that's some of the songs I've been listening to recently. Obviously, I didn't put every single song in, like, in, uh, of it in here. There's, there's like other songs from To You and Minami's like new uh, album and EP. I, I kind of just chose two songs from each like album EP to represent it. But that's close to everything. Yeah, that should be it for this video. Tell me what you think about this idea. Tell me if you like it or dislike it. You can leave a like, you know? And maybe even subscribe to me. You don't have to do that. You don't have you're not required to do any of that. But if you would like to help me out, if you would like to be nice to me, please subscribe to me. I kinda need it. Okay, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Because I enjoyed it. Yeah. Peace out. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Sayonara. Sayonara is not a good fuck. I never like.